Okay, we're going to talk about third-party communications today. Occasionally, you know, station may ask you to pass uh, third-party traffic to a, a friend or relative in the states or somewhere else. Uh, so that party, that traffic cannot be. Uh, it's got to be non-commercial and of a personal, unimportant nature. And then you may be allowed to do it. And the State Department, oftentimes, in a special emergency or emergency, they'll they'll set up a temporary agreement with the country. So what authorizes us to do this? Well, let's look at the rules. The FCC publishes uh, our Part 97 for amateur radio operators, and that's what we're going to look at. So under Part 97, if we look at 97.115 under third-party communications, it'll tell us all we need to know about third-party communications. It can be confusing, so I would encourage you to get out and read that. It's only a couple paragraphs long. All right. Third-party communications is defined as a message from a control operator or the first party of an amateur station to another amateur station control operator, the second party, on behalf of another person, the third party. An example would be uh, your home and your wife, who's a ham also, is on the way to the grocery store. Your daughter at home with you tells you, tell mom not to forget the ice cream. So you call your wife and say, hey, don't forget the ice cream. Uh, Jill wants you to not forget the ice cream. So in this case, Jill is the third party. You are, uh, are making a call to your wife, so you're the first party, and your wife is the second party. You're both control operators, amateur license operators. So that's the example that I wanted to make you understand there a little bit easier for you, hopefully. All right. So what is a control operator? Well, it's an amateur operator designated by his or her license of a station to be responsible for the transmission from that station to ensure compliance with the rules. And you got to be at the control point, and that's the location at which the control operator function is conformed. So you're sitting in front of your radio, you're the control operator because it's your license you're using, and the control point is at that point on the radio there that you have to talk about. So third party may participate in stating the message, making Morse code it out, they can send tap it out on the RTTY, they can put it in a digital mode, but you're the control operator. Third party can never be a control operator. Okay, third party cannot have been an amateur licensee whose license was revoked or not renewed, cannot have been suspended for the balance of the license term, and suspension can still not be in effect. Suspension for the balance of the license term and relicensing has not taken place or you're surrendered for, uh, for cancellation following notice or revocation, suspension, or monetary filing procedures. And you may not be a subject of a cease and desist order in relation to amateur service operations. So that's still in effect. Okay, under 97.115, your station is authorized to transmit messages for a third party to any station within the jurisdiction of the United States. Now, also, 97.7, the station control operator must be present at the control op at the control point, and you're always monitoring and supervising the third party's participation. The third party is not otherwise ineligible to, to participate in stating his or her third party message. A third party cannot operate your amateur station. Only the control operator can operate it, but they can push the talk button and hold the microphone. They just can't control the operator. You're standing there controlling it. Okay, an animal station may transmit messages on any station within the jurisdiction of the United States, any station within the jurisdiction of a foreign government when transmitting emergency or disaster relief communications, and any station within the jurisdiction of a foreign government whose administration had made arrangements with the United States to allow amateur stations. And there's a list of agreements that we have, and it's on the ARL website. All right. Again, we're just talking about uh, this is you, no stations may transmit third-party communication while automatically controlled except the station transmitting RTTY or data. And at the end, you have to identify the, the uh, third-party message who it was exchanged with, normal operating procedures. Now, you got to see the third-party operating agreements on the ARL website. It'll list you all the states or all the foreign countries that has agreed to allow us to U.S. stations to pass traffic. 
do not pass traffic to a country that does not have that agreement. And again, do not pass if it doesn't have the agreement and or the third party has been revoked, suspended, or not renewed. Don't pass the traffic. Here's a list of stations where there's third party agreements in effect. There's some big ones on there, Australia, uh, Mexico, Cuba, United Kingdom, Turkey. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you go through the list. It's always on the ARL website, so make sure you're familiar with it. But I wanted to show you some countries that are not on there that might be surprising to you. Uh, Japan is not on there. New Zealand is not on there. Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Iran, Iraq, Ireland, France, Italy. Those stations are not on that list. So there's a lot more, so just make sure you're familiar with the list. In this example here, you got a friend that wants to let his uh, family uh, or, or local adults unlicensed operate his station over the weekend to try to get them at, uh, interested in, in, uh, in this hobby. Uh, can they do that? A lot of this is like field day when you have an open station and let people talk on it, jamboree on the air for Boy Scouts on the air, stuff like that. Uh, can you do that? Well, yeah, you can do that as long as you, uh, you're the licensee or standing there and you're the control operator and your license, your license is on the line. You're the one that's controlling the radio. So you got to be physically present. You can't walk away and go to the bathroom or go get something to eat and let them stay there. You got to be physically present. You're the control operator. Remember, a third party cannot be a control operator. So yeah, that's, that's fine. So you all see this on exam. The general exam has a question, which of the following would disqualify a third party from participating in, station, in stating a message over an amateur station? Well, it's A, it's a third party amateur license have been revoked and not reinstated. Remember we talked about revoked, renewed, or suspended? Well, they, you can't pass a, a communication for a third party if they've been revoked or suspended. Hopefully this has cleared up some of the questions that I've heard on the radio lately, a conversation on what is third-party communication. So yes, you can pass it, uh, but there are some rules in 97.115 that you need to follow. Hope this helps.